everyone, Cryptic here with Lockjaw Gaming, and today I'm going to be doing a kind of a different video. Um, it's been a bit since I've done an unboxing video, and uh, recently, some people may have noticed um, on my streams and stuff, I've been kind of complaining about my mouse and my keyboard going out. Uh, my mouse has been like spotchy, and it just kind of, it's hasn't been working very well, and all the LEDs are broken and everything. And it was it was time for me to get something new, and uh, I got my previous keyboard and mouse with my computer a couple years ago and they came free and they're only like a twenty dollar keyboard and mouse they're CM Storm Devastators and uh, nice keyboards nice mouse um, but just didn't you know last as long and it was time for a replacement so um, I stopped by um, so <laughs> funny story um, so I went to a, uh, a Best Buy and uh, I went there previously to look at different um, keyboards and mice and stuff and um, I was really, I wasn't really too impressed at the time with uh, Razer, and uh, I was looking at some of the other stuff there, and um, I was really, really digging the Logitech G series. Uh, specifically, there was the Logitech G903 and then the Logitech Orion keyboard, um, and they're really nice, but um, the keyboard was a little too flashy for me. There was a little too too many buttons and stuff like that, and then. Um, I, when I recently, I just went there on um, on Friday, and l was looking at all of them and decided, um, judging on price and a lot of other things, uh, Logitech were just kind of a little too much, a little too flashy. There were some extra things I really didn't need, and uh, just the price, just in general, was way too high. Um, and I was looking at the Razer stuff and. Razer stuff was actually pretty comfortable, and one specific mouse that I really, really liked, and uh, I saw it there. Well, I was standing when I was standing there looking at everything. Um, There's a guy, another customer, walked up next to me, and uh, he was looking at all this stuff as well, and he was looking at down the whole aisle between you know, like Corsair and Logitech and everything else. And uh, when I was looking at the Logitech stuff, he walked over to the Razer, and uh, he picked up a box and then he walked away. Well, uh, I went back to the razor section and was looking at the stuff and was like, you know what, I really like this mouse. And looked down below to see if there was any in stock. And uh, they didn't have any. It was the only one that was sold out. So I went up to uh, one of the employees and asked them to see if uh, they had maybe some in the back room. Uh, they didn't. And... The guy asked which one I was looking for, and I was looking for the Basilisk. Um, and he was like, oh, and then he thought for a second, and then he looked over and kind of whispered something to one of the other employees, and they kind of chuckled there for a second. They're like, you just missed the last one. That guy over there has the last one, and the guy's walking out the door with it. Um, I was pretty sad. So um, the guy was like, we can ship one to you if you want. Um, you can order one online and then ship it through the store to your house. Um, and I was like, okay, that's an option. I was like, wait, there's another Best Buy, pretty far drive on the other side of town. Um, I was like, do they have one over there? So we looked it up on the computer and um, found out that they had one in stock. I was like, reserve it. I b I'm buying it. I'll go over there later. So um, I picked up a keyboard and I'll show you right now. Um, this is the one I got. I got the Black Widow V2 Chroma. It's a pretty nice keyboard. And I picked up the Razer Basilisk um, mouse. So I figured today um, I might as well do like an unboxing video. I'm not sure like if this is going to replace anything or if it'll just be an extra video to post. Um, I didn't really think that through. Um, I'm like about a little less than an hour away from the stream right now, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and open these, and you know we'll, we'll see what they look like. I don't know. I guess that's what you do in unboxing videos. Right? This is like I, it's pretty much the first time I've ever done this, other than I think my computer, and I did like some little figurines, or something. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to open this carefully without cutting myself. All right. I finally broken into the seal. So, apparently they have this interesting little box thing here. 
And this is the mouse. Yeah. Alright. So you got the mouse on this little, I don't know, plastic container thingy. I don't know why. But it's like wrapped in cardboard. It's a weird, like, they have like a nylon cord for it. It's kind of odd. I didn't really see the cord because the cord was down below in the uh, display case thing that they had. So yeah, they have a like a nylon, I don't know if you can see that, but like a nylon USB cord. USB cable. Which is kind of interesting. So there it is. That's the Razer Basilisk. It's got this little thumb grip thing right here. Where you can put your thumb in. And it's really nice and comfortable. Really nice and clicky. As you can hear. The only thing I don't like, um, especially while streaming and recording, is things that are too clicky. Um, especially keyboards. Specifically keyboards. Um, because, you know, it transfers over. And, um, I don't know. I... I have a problem with uh, with two clicky stuff, especially with uh, Razer products. I know a lot of people that have Razer and they try to record and stuff, and you can hear it. Um, but I can work around that with you know mic transitions and stuff. Um, but yeah, this thing's pretty nice. All right, and also um, I have my my mouse plugged in right now, but um, I want to show you guys right here these little buttons right here um, on the actual mouse, the Basilisk. Um, these are actually to fix to work the uh, DPI settings. Um, so that's kind of cool. You can actually, there's actually quite a bit of um, a difference in the actual DPI settings. So it's like a difference between like 5 or 10 sensitivity on most games. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's also got like a little, uh, you can kind of see it right here. It's got like a little trigger thing, like a control freak uh, controller trigger, which is kind of cool. Um, you can use that for whatever, but and it's got standard two buttons on the side. Of the thumb grip and then uh, yeah pretty cool I like the fact that it has the rubber on like both sides of it too there's on the left side and on the right side you can see it right there that's pretty cool so I'm really happy with the the Razer Basilisk um, we'll see how it plays with later on um, when it has some time on it like with today's stream um, but as far as like the feel and everything of it I really love it um, yeah, you can also, like, the resistance on the bottom of this one um, for the mouse is on the, the very bottom of the, the mouse right here. It says resistance on that side right there. And then plus and minus, and then you can turn that down for the uh, for the mouse, for the wheel. But, um, yeah, you can also do a couple other things, like there's a profile. Um, I believe, I'm not sure if it's this one, but some of the other ones had, um, like, weights in them you can mess around with um, I don't really care for that one though um, let's see this one touts uh, true 16,000 DPI 5G optical sensor customizable scroll wheel resistance and removable DPI clutch so that's kinda cool I'm not really sure what the DPI clutch is but I'm guessing that uh, makes it so you can actually make the, uh, the mouse faster or slower, depending on uh, what games and stuff you want to play. Anyway, pretty cool mouse. As you can see, it's really nice. But we're going to get into the keyboard, which is the uh, Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. So uh, I'm go ahead and try to open this without cutting myself. Ah, no, no, I'm just joking. The problem with using a Zacto knife is they cut a little too well. Okay, there we go. Might not be able to hear me very well, but let's go ahead and angle this down just a tad. All right, there we go. Okay, so this one also um, they they come with like these razor things, like these little congratulations on like domination thing they're funny little things but um the other one came with let me show you this came with the mouse they give you little little decals so that's kind of cool and then yeah this is just an instruction booklet on how to use like the dpi and all that stuff nothing too crazy um 
But yeah, all right, let's open the, uh, let's open the box. So again, this one comes with the same booklet, um, same little card theme, congratulations on world domination, all that stuff. This one comes with a, uh, looks like an extra switch or something. This is an extra LED switch. It's got like the little razor logo and it can change colors. Um, that's kind of cool. I don't know why, but it comes in this little plastic thing and it has like a little cable with a clip attached to it. Not exactly sure why, but we'll just keep that, uh, that switch in there for now. I think that's the uh, testing switch thing, but so people can, you know, try it out. The demo switch. Um, which means that that thing will probably die pretty soon. I tried to get one that was further in the back so people, you know, didn't use it as much. I always try to do that with certain products, but take the foam off. This one also has a nylon switch. Um, what's also interesting about this one, this one has an auxiliary port and uh, two USBs, which is kind of interesting. Shortly after looking at, looking over the keyboard a little bit more, I noticed, um, this little bit on the side. There's actually an extra USB and auxiliary plug-in on the actual keyboard itself. So if you want to, you know, plug something like, like your phone or something else into the auxiliary port, you can. And uh, <clears throat> they also have an, an extra USB cord for whatever uh, port for whatever reason. Um, so you can plug that in if you guys want. Also, um, I was checking out the the little arm. Um, or the wrist protector thing that you have here, little cushion. Um, I was realizing it didn't have any um, sections right here along this part to hook it up. And then I found out, this is kind of cool actually, um, what you can do is this whole part is magnetic. See? So it just hooks onto that. And the whole thing is magnetic and it can just stay there. It's actually pretty strong. You can just leave it. Except for that part. Um, if you shake it around a little bit, it can fall off. But once you leave it, put it down, um, it's actually pretty strong, pretty sturdy. So you can keep it like this. As long as you don't shake it. But, I mean, he's going to hold it up like this and shake it. But, um... Take the plastic off. This one also comes with a, uh, like a foam wrist protector thing. Um, which I probably am not going to use. My, my uh keyboard slide out for my desk is really not that big so this won't fit on it but it is pretty nice it's got the razor logo right in the middle of it right there um, really nice and comfortable it's got plastic backing with grips on it but uh, once again I probably won't use it because I can't I really don't have space for it um, I'm gonna be getting a new desk pretty soon um, one that will fit everything because right now mine's I don't know, I probably only have like this much space on my desk currently um, so I really don't have much room for anything but this is the keyboard the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 pretty nice it is kind of cookie as you can probably kind of tell um, but I like it it's really not that flashy it's really not that crazy um, it's got a few extra keys, five extra M keys on the, the right side, right here, um, which is kind of cool, oops, sorry, um, but it really doesn't have anything too crazy, um, I'll give you a full length look at it, it's got their little razor emblem um, down below, but uh, pretty cool, I like it, we'll just see how it is, how it holds up, and it has the obvious, you know, the kickstands are at the top that you can lift it up with, um, has, you know, some of the few LED options for the lights and everything on the keys, but my allergies are driving me crazy right now, anyway, um, yeah, that looks like it's about it, I don't think there's anything else in the box, um, 
thank you for watching if you guys enjoyed it you know hit that like button if you guys want um if there's any other kind of videos if you want to see more unboxing videos because i'll probably be getting more stuff soon um to try to upgrade some things and whatnot um so if you guys want to see more let me know um i'm done for now peace out thanks for watching i'll see you next time